Hey guys, gals, and others, it's the Cannabis Crone. I hope you're all having a beautiful um, Memorial Day weekend. I had to think of what it was. I always get Memorial Day and Labor Day mixed up. Anyway, I am uh, here with my father, uh, visiting him, and uh, just cleaning up a bit. The mosquitoes are really, really bad. Oh my God, they're like, ugh, they're so bad. I, I can't even, I mean, it, we're supposed, we usually have mosquitoes in northern Minnesota that are bad, but these mosquitoes are like, because last year we had a drought, so I think they're trying to make up for lost time, and there's like 20,000 more. It's, oh my God, it's awful. And my dad happens to be under a big, beautiful tree, as you can see. Got a little starling that's been talking to me the whole time I've been here. And this, uh, let me make sure, it's so hard with the cell phone. Um, but anyway, this... This is my dad, so hopefully it's coming in, and I came to put up a couple of meditation stones for him, uh, because my dad was not into the usual, real, you know, like, fancy plastic wreaths and plastic funeral flowers and all that crap. He was not into that, so um, I'm trying to honor him by, you know, giving him the kind of stuff he wanted. My dad was a hippie. Even though he appeared to be kind of conservative on the outside, my dad was a hippie. That's why I'm sitting here smoking pot with him in uh, in the cemetery. So, uh, but I can't hold the phone up and smoke pot at the same time, so I'm going to quick just tell everybody I hope you have a beautiful Memorial Day weekend. Um, yeah, it's just, a, it's a really good day to reflect uh on all of those who have gone before us. You know, not, not even thinking of it in the context of wars, but just everyone who's gone before us. What have we learned from them? Um, what did they take with them that we wish we could reclaim? It's a good day to reclaim some of, some of that, some of that essence of uh, compassion and kindness and the things that we seem to feel that we're pining away for that were part of our world before. Well. If that was a part of your world before and it's not now, question why, and uh, and try to bring it back. You know, I I like to just think of all the stuff that my dad has taught me, which has been pretty much everything I know. It, my dad taught me. Um, my father was a beautiful man. Uh, a friendly curmudgeon is is something that everyone says about him. Um, he was honorable boy, he was honorable. And I don't meet many people that are honorable anymore. Um, he was protective, fiercely protective. Um, he was a badass. You didn't mess with my dad. <laughs> and uh, he loved me. And believe me when I tell you that I have been a fuck up in life. Um, oh my God. Yeah. I don't have my shit together. I have my shit together now way more than before, but, uh, no, my, my, uh, I was, you know, part of being neurodivergent and being undiagnosed is that you don't realize why you're doing a lot of the things that you're doing that feel like they're out of your control. And it's, and it just, it, it just really gives you that I'm crazy feeling. So, um, but my dad loved me through all that. I mean, he could have put me away in Shepherd Pratt. Uh, which was a kind of a psych unit or treatment place that a lot of uh, parents in our neighborhood growing up would send their send their teenagers when they started messing up. But my dad never sent me away. He never. He was one of my father, Thomas Anthony Lavelle the Fourth, was one of the biggest blessings in my life to date. I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend. Take care of each other. Namaste.